So I am making my necklaces for my September 6th drop. And that is going to be, I think that's a Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. So these are the designs that are going to be in that drop. And I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. So whatever I get done today for this video is what's going to be in that drop. So let's get started. Oh, also, I'm going to do a voiceover after for the rest of this video, except for this part. But I just wanted to mention that I did do this part off camera for whatever reason. Oh, and if this is your first video of seeing how I do these, I usually will do like a, a mini tutorial of this, like explaining the stitches. And then I will do, mix it in with some time lapses. But for this one, I think I'm going to time lapse. Well, since I'm talking. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna talk through this part and then time lapse it and then I have a different color way that I'm gonna do and I will explain the stitches with that one, so. Okay, so this is the same design, but a different color way. And I like to do that with most designs. I'll come up with, this is actually a new design that I came up with, but I usually do a couple different color ways whenever I introduce a new design. So the first thing is a woven wheel stitch. So you're going to make five stitches and you're going to put them all in a circle <laughs> and place them all in the same hole. And if it's not exactly the same hole, it's fine as long as they're like pretty close or close enough. And this is probably the easiest stitch. I think this is the first stitch that I learned. And you can make so many different designs just with this one and then like a couple leaves. So you're gonna go back up towards the center and then you're gonna go over the first one and then under the second one and then pull. And then over and then under, over, under and you're just going to keep doing that and 
then once you get close to filling out up to the lines, you can still see some of those stitches, but you can't see some of the other ones. I like to just kind of anchor them down and stitch through. I just think it makes it look a little bit more realistic. And it kind of secures the flower down a little bit. And then there you go. And I just tie the back in a double knot. similar in size. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I think one more round. So to do that, you just stitch up wherever you want to add more and then just stitch down and then kind of fill it out. And then I don't go don't go up through that same stitch because you'll undo your stitch. But I could go through the middle of that last stitch, the middle of the threads, and then go down. And then I change up like the length and all that so it doesn't look too uniform so if you want it to look uniform then you know do the same thing over and over again I'm not gonna do one at the bottom because that one's fine but I do want to add one here to cover up Well, now I made it like a little box, so I'm going to fix that. There. Okay. So now for the leaves, these darker green ones, I'm going to start up here-ish because I kind of want it to curve in a little bit. I feel like this might be too high. We'll do that. And I just stitch down and then I go up next to it and then st stitch down a little bit below that first one and then go up next to it on the other side and stitch a little bit below that first one or I guess that second one and then do the same thing go in the middle of that last stitch A little bit below. do the same thing on the other side.
So I added another layer just on this outside stitch because I wanted to try and get it closer to look like this one. And this one was looking a little thin and not as curved, so I did that. And now these are just straight stitches for these leaves. Okay, and now the rest are just French knots, so... Just go up all the way. Hopefully it focuses. And then you're just going to take your needle, wrap it around, and then go back either into the hole that you stuck it through or next to it, because the stitch will hide it. And then pull your needle through and you want to keep holding on to yeah don't let that one go yet until it gets closer and then pull and then you have a French knot And done. Also, I like to name my designs, and since this is a new design, it doesn't have a name yet. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Okay, this next one is my dainty style. And this one, I think, takes the longest out of all the styles that I've done so far. And it's just a bunch of French knots. So I'll show again, even though I just showed. So just right through the middle. Go around once, stick it back down. And sometimes that will happen where there's like a little loop and all you have to do is just tug on one of the two threads and normally that fixes it.
And then for the leaves, I'm just gonna do one thread instead of the two. And it's just a single stitch. On both sides, two on each side. This necklace is like my floral trio necklace and my peak blue daisy necklace if you have been following along but i merged them together so the it's three of the woven wheel stitches like i showed previously and then um, that's why i just time lapsed it because i already showed how to do it I didn't want it to get too repetitive, so I did edit some chunks out of this, but it is a pretty easy uh, design to make, and I have made it a few times showing how on my channel, and I have like a tutorial and all that stuff, specifically on the uh, floral trio necklace, if you wanted to look for that. I wasn't going to mention it because I didn't think that this video would line up with my giveaway that I'm having on my Instagram, my Miami Made Instagram, which is linked below. So if you want to check that out, I'm giving away a $50 shop credit to either my shop or a Lazy Tuesday. Sorry for the background noise, but I'm um, either the Miami Made or Lazy Tuesday. And the link for that is down below, and it goes until this Thursday, and I'll pick a winner on Friday. So it's really easy to enter, and it's um, my Instagram post shows how to enter that if you're interested. And I do have another hair bow tutorial coming up. I thought of a new design. Um, one of my designs and I just slipped my mind when I was making those tutorials. So I have that and I have a, a Lazy Tuesday dedicated video with some glow forge pieces coming up in I have an idea of making my son these linen pants that he likes and i think i'm gonna film it I, it's not my pattern but i'll have the info on that in that video but i think it'd be helpful and they're cute so yeah and i do have another packaging video but i'm gonna save that later um but if you have any other ideas or anything that you'd like to see them 
I kind of trailed off, but if you have any other ideas for videos that you would like to see, let me know in the comments. So the rest of this is French knots and then the lazy daisy stitch, I think it's what it's called. I kind of do a, um, a real-time stitch of one, but I do have a tutorial on that one as well, and it's pretty simple. I'll try to remember to link some of my embroidery tutorial videos down below too if you wanted to if you want to check those out. Okay, so these are the designs that I'm gonna add for that September sixth drop and I know it's not that much but I didn't get as many as I wanted to get done and I also have a bunch of past designs that I'm gonna that I'm gonna add as well so I'm not gonna have time to list more than this plus the past designs that I have so I'm just gonna show why well, I showed a close-up of these when I did it but then I also have a couple more I have a couple of these and then a purple floral trio. This was actually a custom for my last packing video. She wanted a bear and some mountains, but I this is the first take that I did. So it's a little geometric bear, which I think is cute, so I'm going to add it. And then I found two rainbow designs. I don't know how old these are. I made these a while ago. So I have those. And then I have, these were popular when I first added them to my shop. Um, little wishing flowers. I have two of those. And I only have one or two, pretty much one of each of these past designs. I might have two of a couple, but mostly just one. And then for the new designs, I'll have two of each design. Um, but if they sell well, then I'll add more. The Santa hats. I know it's not <laughs> quite Christmas at all, but I do want to list these because I do think I'm going to... I do have plans to close Miami Made, and I haven't really said that on Instagram or anything yet. But I am... I think this is going to be my last season for Miami Made, and then I'm just going to shut it down. I just have so much... It just takes up a lot of my stuff, just all the linen and all the stuff that I do with it, that I just need, I just really want to clean everything and focus on a Lazy Tuesday, so that's what I'm going to do. I yes, that's what I'm going to do. And then I can always open it back up later if I want, but I don't have any plans to for this to be temporary. I have plans for this to be a permanent close, but we'll see what happens. So I know I have a couple of these Santa hats, and I only have one of these I believe. Look how cute this is. A little wreath. I should keep this. I really do like this one. Um, and then a purple fall floral trio and I found a lot of pumpkins. Oh this is the same. So I have two of these but then the rest are I just have one of them. Those look similar but they're different. And then just a plain ruby rose floral trio. I thought this was activated in my shop because I did the red rose on the mustard, but I guess I didn't. So I have one or two of these. And then this one was a fan favorite. This was probably next to my Monarch. This one was my Monarch next to my monarch butterfly this one's probably my up there as a bestseller so that's really cute i really like the floral trios and then i have like this fall colored one 
that I had. And then, <laughs> I know it's a lot of past designs, but I want to get, try and um, get rid of as much as I can before I close my shop so I don't waste anything or get stuck with anything. Um, so I have some Easter Bunny ones and these. And then I have a white silhouette Easter Bunny and a snow pine tree. And I think that's all that I have in my past designs. I'll do one more sweep and look, but I think this is what I'm going to focus on for that drop. And then if I find anything else, then I'll add that up. I'll add it into the shop later. But yeah, so that's all I have for this video. It's Monday, so I have to edit this video and get it ready for tomorrow upload. I really do not enjoy how I manage my time with doing these videos, but I'm going to get better. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already I think like 75% of my views are from non subscribers which is fine because I do that too but it would be nice and it's free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week look how pretty this all looks just okay <laughs> bye guys <laughs>